Recent Connection now includes the ability to utilize custom anchor bolt layouts for the design of single column and column with brace base plates. This functionality allows for enhanced flexibility in the design of base plates, giving users greater control in defining the custom base plate and anchorage conditions that are found on many projects. So in this case, I'm in a standalone project in Recent Connection, and I've got three separate base plates already in this project. To start here, I'm going to go ahead and double click on the single wide flange column base plate. And we can see here in 3D that particular base plate. I'm going to go ahead and select our 2D view. And here you can see that we've got a four bolt layout that corresponds to the bolt layout option that's set here in our properties. We also have additional options for six, eight, and the custom layout, which we'll look at in just a minute. The first thing I want to do in this particular case, though, is I want to increase the size of my base plate. So I'm going to go ahead and change this to a 28 inch base plate. Next, I'm going to go ahead and just select um, our bolt layout and change this to custom. When we do that, we can see that the dimensions between the bolts drops off and we get numbers assigned to each individual anchor bolt. Those numbers are going to correspond with the number of the custom bolt layout that we can go ahead and change in our anchors dialog here. So under anchors, I can go ahead and click the ellipsis and that brings us our custom anchor bolt layout editor. So here in the editor, we have some options for adding and subtracting bolts, for using predefined bolt layouts, for moving or rotating bolts, and then also for setting the drawing grid. Now in this case, I'm going to go ahead and start by evaluating the drawing grid. So if I open up the edit drawing grid dialog, we can see that we can change the spacing in the Z and the Y direction. In this case, I've already got it set at a half inch spacing, so I'm going to leave it at that and click OK. The next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and add an anchor bolt. So if I add a bolt here, that bolt is inserted right at the center of our uh, plate there, so at the zero, 00 coordinate. And I can go ahead and either enter our bolt coordinates or I can just grab the bolt itself and then go ahead and move it to the desired location. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and grab it and move it up here to the six and a half, eight, negative eight and a half uh, location. Next, I can go ahead and add another bolt. So if I add that bolt here, I can go ahead and now add that to our negative six and a half, negative eight and a half location. So now I've got that new second row of bolts maybe uh, above the flange on this particular base plate. Now when I'm done, I can go ahead and click OK. And those new bolts and that layout now exists in our 2D view. Now, additionally, that is going to correspond to any report that we require here. So if we look at our geometric restrictions here, we can see that we've got passing checks for anchor bolt encroachment on the column and max edge distance, min edge, edge distance, as well as minimum and maximum spacings. Now, those six bolts are taken into account when we do any checks uh, for our base plate or for our anchor bolts. I'm going to go ahead back into our project. In this case, let's go ahead and grab our single HSS column. So again, just a single column. If we look at a 2D view, a four bolt layout again. And so in this plate case, we're gonna go ahead and replace the current bolt layout with one of the predefined templates. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and choose a custom template. And then under anchor bolts, we'll choose our, to open our dialog. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and use the rectangular with holes template. So I'm gonna click on this template here, which is rectangular with holes. And that's gonna open our template dialog here. So you can see in this template, we have the ability to set the number of bolts in the Y direction, the number of bolts in the Z direction, as well as the spacings that correspond to those. We also have the ability to either add the bolts to our current layout of bolts or replace the current layout of bolts. So in this case, I'm gonna add four bolts in the Y direction. I'm gonna have a spacing in the Y direction of five and a half inches. I'm gonna have three bolts in the Z direction, and then I'm gonna set the spacing in the Z direction to be six and a half inches. Now, as I mentioned in this place, we want to replace the current layout. So I'm going to click this Replace Bolts button. So when we do that now, we have get this new layout of bolts. Now, one thing to mention here is that if I would have placed a bolt that was maybe outside of the actual steel base plate, we would actually get some, uh, we get some notifications, some warnings. The first would be graphically, we would see this little red uh, kind of outline around the bolt itself. And we also may get a little warning at the bottom here. So in this case, it tells us that one or more of the anchor bolts is outside of the base plate. We either have to redraw the bolts or change the size of the base plate in this case. Obviously, we don't have that condition. And so we can set the, the anchor bolt back into its position here. So I'm going to set it back into the position at negative 8.25. 
So with this ready, I can go ahead and click OK. And again, we've got our new bolt layout. We could go ahead and look at some of our reporting uh, to see the updated number of bolts and the updated checks for the geometry restrictions all being done in accordance with the new bolt layout that we have. Now the last condition I want to look at is this column with a brace. So in this case, I've got a gusset plate uh, welded to the flange of a wide flange column, and then I have a double angle as my brace here. Again, if I go ahead and look at the top down view, we can see that I've got just a standard bolt layout. Now one of the things I want to do in this particular case is I actually want to put some bolts kind of more internal or inside the dim dimension between the top and the bottom flange. So let's go ahead and instead of keeping that bolt layout as four, let's go ahead and switch it to custom. And again, I'll come down to my anchor bolts and open up the dialog here. And so in this case, let's go ahead and add two bolts and we're gonna go ahead and modify the Y dimension. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the first bolt and I'm gonna change the Y dimension of this first bolt to be two and a half. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add a second bolt and change the Y dimension to be negative two and a half. So basically just this, the Y spacing I have set here. And now because I have uh, the ability to, I can go ahead and hold control to select both bolts at the same time. And then I could either move them together or I'm gonna go ahead and use this move bolt layout uh, dialog. So in this case, I can kind of group move or move every selected bolt. And so in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and choose to move bolts in the Z direction. So I'll choose to move them three inches in the Z direction. And I wanna say I wanna move only the selected bolts. And I wanna go ahead and replace the bolts that I currently have. So I click that and I get those moved over there. Now with them still selected, I can go ahead and access the move bolt layouts dialog again. And in this case, instead of doing three inches, I'm gonna say a negative six inches. And again, using only the selected bolts. And instead of adding, or excuse me, instead of replacing the bolts, I wanna add bolts. So basically I'm just going to mirror these, this bolt layout across the Y line here to the other side of the column. So let's go ahead and click add bolts. And now we get bolts seven and eight automatically added in that location. So we don't have to manually add each individual bolt. We can add bolts on one side and then mirror them basically to the other side or, or group move them so that we can more efficiently build the bolt layout that we want. Now we also have another dialog for rotating the bolt layout. So in this case, we can go ahead and either use all the bolts or show only selected bolts, and we can choose an angle to rotate these uh, around the axis, rotating in this case clockwise around the center of the base plate. In this situation, I'm not going to do this. I'm just gonna, wanted to show the dialog here. So I can go ahead and cancel out of that. Now when we're done, we can go ahead again and click okay, and we can see our new bolt layouts. And so if we go ahead and again, and we look at our reports, we can see our conditions here. We're still passing our geometric restrictions, so we're not encroaching on the column with our base plate and our bolts, um, but we have a, a layout that maybe fits a certain condition or a certain um, uh, constructability condition that we have on, out on the job site. So as you can see, the new custom anchor bolt layout functionality in Risa Connection gives engineers the flexibility to create whatever custom anchor bolt configuration that their project requires. For more information about Risa Connection, as well as other Risa products, please visit our website at risa.com.